I wanted to make a quick video on sealing your RV roof. Most people recommend using lap sealant to cover all the cracks and crevices on the roof of your camper. However, some people recommend using Eternabond tape to cover these seams. We ended up using a combination of both to cover our roof. Most people's concern with using Eternabond tape is that you can't really take it off. Once you've put it down, it's pretty much stuck there. And the only way to get it off is to basically replace your RV roof. So here's what our roof looks like with the Turnabond across all the seams. You'll see a few lines of tape across the center of the camper where tree branches have rubbed and we covered them up. The biggest thing with the Turnabond tape is making sure you have a clean surface and that all the edges are laid down flat. It took me a little time to get used to this, so mine's not quite perfect. Um, hopefully you can do a little bit better than I did. I used a sealant called liquid rubber to cover the rest of the roof and the edges of the Eternabond tape. Make sure to mix it really well before applying it to your roof. It rolls on easy just like paint, but the first coat is kind of thin. So here's what it looks like after our first coat of sealant. So I bought a five gallon bucket of this liquid rubber and this is after the second coat of the sealant across the entire roof. I still have over half of the five gallon bucket left so I will keep that in storage and apply it again in the future. I don't feel like the Eternabond tape has ruined our roof at all. If anything, it's made it stronger. I highly recommend doing your own research and maybe this is something that you could consider in the future. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used the Turnabond tape on your roof and your experience with it. If you want to see more of these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.